afternoon welcome back to shalama craft garden and kitchen video okay guys i have another recipe for you guys tonight i am going to make bunje egg bag chicken egg bag and um i already washed so i am i have the stove already on i'm waiting for the water to come to a boil we are going to steam it when we come back then i'll share with you guys all the ingredients we are going to use to cook the bunche chicken egg bag okay guys my water is boiling i am going to add my egg bag to the water and i am going to let it steam we'll give it a stir and we're gonna let it steam when we come back we'll take it out of the water and then we are going to rinse it and I am going to cut the bags up, not the egg. So I'll show you guys what it looks like after it's all steamed and cut up. And then we'll get the ingredients ready for cooking. See you guys back in a few. Okay guys, this is all steamed. I am going to take it out of the pan, put it back in the bowl, and we are going to give this a good wash. And we are going to cut it up. So, when I come back, I'll share with you guys the rest of it. Okay, guys, I did. I went ahead, washed it, and I cut it in. I cut the tube up. So, this is all ready. I have my pan here with olive oil. I am using 100% um, 100, 100 pressed extra virgin olive oil. So, I have some olive oil in my pan. For the ingredients, I have some dehydrated curry leaf. I have a piece of ginger, three weary weary pepper, five clove of garlic, some green onion, homemade green seasoning, chicken powder, garam masala, curry powder, red pepper powder, some cumin seed or jeera, three fresh bay leaf, and a piece of onion one pack of sazon and add salt for taste so guys we are going to start cooking this i think my oil is is hot not yet it's not hot yet so when my oil heat up or hot i will come back and we are going to start bungee our egg bag see you guys back in a few Okay guys, my oil is hot and I am going to add some of my jeera or cumin seed into the oil. We'll give that a stir. And now we are going to add the rest of the ingredients into the pan. And we are going to give that a sorry about that we are going to give that a good stir when we come back then we are going to add the egg bag okay see you guys back in a few i am okay guys for my masala to bunje i am going to add some water so my masala to bunje i'll give that a good stir and again, I am not using my tripod, so maybe in my next video, I'll probably use my tripod. So we're going to let this masala bunje. And when we come back, we'll add the, um, the chicken bag or egg bag. So see you guys back in a few. Okay, guys, my masala is bunje. Time to add the egg bag in there. We are, I am going to give it a stir. I am going to give it a stir. I was going to ask my son if he could help me, but he just left the kitchen, you guys. I am going to give this a stir and come back and show you guys what it looked like. And we are going to add some water when I come back. Okay, guys, that's what it looks like after I give it a stir and mix it all into the bunje masala. We are going to add some water. And we are going to give that a stir and let it bunge and come down to a nice thick gravy. So when we come back, we are going to have a bunge egg. 
See you guys back in a few. Okay, guys, my Bunje egg bag is finished. My husband is going to do a taste test for me. I'm going to taste the other one too, the other part. He gives it a thumbs up. Okay, guys, if you like my recipe for my Bunje egg bag, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you on another video. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, I forgot to share with you guys what are we going to have for dinner with our egg bag. We have some fried fish, carb fried fish. I made some fresh sliced potato, nice brown in both sides. And I made some plantain chips, actually plantain french fries. So that's what we are going to have tonight plus our bunje egg bag so guys sorry about that if you guys like this video please like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching bye bye